world, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with another decluttering video. I thought it was so fun to decluttering my lipsticks, so I was like, I go into the base things. So that is what we are doing today, so if you want to see me decluttering some of my base products, just keep on watching. Okay, so time to dig into the base products and when I look at this, it's like, okay, for me this is much. So. I have done the colors before with blushes, highlighters, contours, and primers and foundations, but I want to do it again because I started to do with my lips things and it was so fun. So I am doing these today and I'm also doing setting sprays, so I think we will start with setting sprays actually. Yeah, I think that is going to be the easiest part of this video actually. So we will start with sprays and some of these are really dusty and disgusting so I'm going to wipe them off. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can start with this one. This is from Makeup Store, a Swedish brand. I don't like this at all. I, I just don't. So I'm going to not keep it. Uh, I don't know. It's old so maybe I shouldn't give it away but it's supposed to hold for two years and I don't think I've had it for two years but I will not keep this I will see what I want to do and then I have this from Isadora I don't like this to my face I use it to spray my shadows so I'm going to keep it and then this one this is a brush cleaner as you can see I love this one I need to buy a new one though because this is soon empty so of course, keeping this one, I love this. Everyone that you that lives in the Nordics, try this. It's from Kix. And then this one from Smashbox. I don't know why I still have in here because as you can see, it's empty. I can't get anything more out of this. So I am declaring this one as well. And then here I have the NYX Dewy Finish. This is the one I use right now. So. Keeping it, it's not much left. Maybe I need to buy a new one. And I also have this mattifying from Body Shop. I actually really like this. I don't think it's that mattifying because I don't need mattifying. I don't want mattifying, but I think this is really good. So I'm going to save it. Also from Body Shop, I have this sun spray or SPF spray, you may say. I like this one. It good. It goes good over makeup, but it. If I get anything in my eyes, they never stop. Like they are so watery and it burns. So I like this, but I need to be super careful. So I'm saving this one as well. Then I have this from Linda Holberg. This is like the most expensive setting spray I have ever bought, and the, as you can see, it's not finished, but. Nothing comes out, like nothing at all. I have sat like this for minutes, nothing's happened. So I'm going to declaring this one because, yeah. Then I have the Lumine Insta Glow UV Primer. I don't know why I have it here though. I think I will put it with my base products instead. And then I have this little Nordic Instant Luminizer from Lumine. It's like a liquid highlight. I don't know if this is still okay. I have to check. It actually smells a little bit odd, so I think I will declutter this because maybe it's old. And I actually have this. This is a new setting spray, so I'm thinking about putting it down here because it is a lot of empty space right now in this one. So this feels great. I maybe I should put some base products in here instead. I don't know, but as far as we go, this feels great. Okay, so for the rest, I just think I'm going to start with something and then we will just see. So here I should only have like, yeah, I have different face products. I have the highlighter from Lethal. This is staying. And also this one from Nabla. It's staying. This one from UA, it's also staying. Then I have three from Colourpop that I want to keep. 
I don't think I want going to declare that much in this. I have this from Idun. It's a Swedish brand and this is called Tilda and this is a translucing illuminating powder and I actually think I will start to use this more now because this is a really really nice powder so I'm keeping this one as well. And then here I have three powders. I have this one from Linda Holberg. I like this but it feels like some other has the same problems as I do. This deepened down my foundation so I can't use it in like my whole face. I sometimes set my concealer with this but yeah, it's not that much left and I am going to keep it. This is the powder that I use the most for my under eyes and this is not from H&M, this is the RCMA powder that I took in this container instead, so keeping this. And then I have this powder from Lumene that is my favorite loose powder, so this is also staying. And in here I have two loose powders from a Swedish store that is called Makeup Store and these are so freaking old. I really really love those. These are like some of the first powders I used. Makeup Store was one of the first brand I started to try out when I get into makeup so but I think these are so old. I don't think they are bad or have gone bad, but I haven't used them for like more than a year. So I actually think it's time for these to go. I have other powders that I really love and now I can't close it. So I will actually declare those even though I think they are really good. And if they have the same formula still, Maybe in the future we buy one or two of them, but right now they are going. And then the last two things in this one is Kat Von D's, what's it even called? Thunderstruck Metal Crush. This is as amazing as a highlighter. I will keep this one. And also I have this taupe from NYX that is a blush, but it works good as a contour for me but I feel like it feels like it looks a little bit odd maybe I should just declare this I don't use it I have other contour things so yeah I actually think it's time for this little one to go maybe this way is better <laughs> so time for the next one here I have my mineral foundation I keeping this I love this one and the poreless putty primer from elf I think this is really good I usually use it only like on my nose and on my shin it looks maybe a little bit disgusting it's really good so I'm absolutely saving this keeping this okay and here we have some blushes and I think I'm going to keep all my blushes this is from Kicks, really, really like it. This is from Makeup Store. I'm keeping this as well. Revolution, Milani, an empty container. It shouldn't be here. And a highlighter from NYX. This is actually so, so good. This is their Duochromatic Powder Highlighter. This has a blue tint to it. It looks amazing and I am going to keep it. And here we have some blushes. My absolute favorite blush like ever. Down by from the balm. Keeping you. Two, three others from the balm. Hair. One pin. No. This is lace I think. Yeah. Lace. Hot mama. And pinstripe. Keeping these as well. This one from Sleek. This I really like. I should use this more often. It's a little bit hard to open though. It looks like this. I think I had this in a shop my stash. Keeping it. And then I have this one. This I got in a glossy box. It's like a beauty subscription box in Sweden. 
I really like it, but I haven't used it for such a long time, so I actually think I decluttering this. And I have some highlighters. I have the pixie one, keeping it. I have my, oops. I have my, I hope, yeah, or yeah. I have my favorite powder, pressed powder ever from Nabla. I love this one so, so much. Of course, keeping it. Then I have this one. This is Loose Highlighter Moon Tears from Wet n Wild. I don't support Wet n Wild anymore. I have declared some stuff from them, but I actually think that I want to keep this because I just love it, so I'm keeping it. And I'm also keeping my Ofra highlighter and my Lunar Beauty highlighter. Okay, so not much there but i think i will wait with putting everything back until i know how to store it because i'm not finished but then over to this disaster <laughs> how what and why i don't like even know where to begin and i don't know how to show you this the best i have something here that are not open that i think i'm going to move out of here and put in another drawer and i'm just going to show you these things first so i have finally bought this one the nyx bear with me primer so keeping this, this is also a new primer from Kix. I have heard so many good things about this, so I want to try it and it was like half off, so I bought it. And what do we have more? An eyeshadow base, white from NYX. It was super cheap on H&M, so I bought it. And I think that was everything that is not open. This little brush, I don't know what it's doing here. This is leaving my life okay where should i start i have no freaking idea i have this one this is a mineral foundation but i mix two different colors and i don't know where where is i'm keeping this that's all then i have this one this is my like absolute holy grail foundation i'm holding it like a baby uh, i'm keeping this i love this one this one from colourpop pretty fresh i don't really like it but i've started to mix it with my serum foundation and from the ordinary and i like these two together so i'm going to keep both of them and then i have this one I think I got it in the Look Fantastic box. I am not going to keep it. I haven't opened it for so many years. Mask, moisturize, mask, moisturize and primer in one. It's not open, so maybe one of my friends want it. Because I don't. Then I have this from Pixie. I really like this one. This is their Glow Lotion they do i like to have this on my mineral foundation because this gives an amazing glow so i'm keeping this i have these two it's everything and nothing in this drawer i have these two from nyx these are both new to me it's a yellow epic wear liner some liner and a white one that i bought for like two dollars so keeping both of these A highlighter from Nabla that I'm going to use as a blush, keeping this. And then I have a highlighter stick from Nabla. I love this one, absolutely keeping it. Hydro Grip Primer from Milk, keeping it. This I'm also going to keep. This is the Flex Foundation Stick. Flex Foundation Stick, yeah. From milk then here i have a tinted or beauty serum i don't really know what this is if i'm going to be honest 
I like it. I don't know if it is a little bit too dark for me, actually. I have no idea. But I really like it, and you look really, like, awake when you have it on, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep my Milk Luminous Blur Stick. And this one, I still haven't used it. It's the matte bronzer from Milk in a Baked. I know a lot of my friends here on YouTube love this one. So, yeah, I guess I will... I will use it soon. I also have um, Flex Concealer from Milk keeping this as well. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of anything in this drawer. My Born to Glow foundation from NYX keeping it. My Nip and Fab contour stick keeping it. it. Looks a little bit sweaty though. But it's really hot in here so maybe that's why. And then I have, I don't know, like it's not that much left. High Gloss Primer from NYX, keeping it. I love this eyeshadow base. It's like the best eyeshadow base I have ever tried. It's from Milani. Of course, I'm keeping it. My Born to Glow concealer, I'm keeping it. This one I'm going to declutter. It's the ColourPop BFF mascara. I didn't like it. it Fallen me a lot, so no. The Linda Holberg Infinity Glass. I have had this for a long time. As long as it still smells good, so I guess I'm keeping it. I have two sticks from ColourPop, so I'm keeping both of these. It's a highlighter stick and a blush stick. Maybe I will put them somewhere else. I don't know yet. I have this ColourPop iPod Primer <laughs> Brow Color. Don't like this. So I actually think I will be coloring this. I don't like the color of it. I have this Star Stamp from Body Shop. I'm gonna see if it still works. It feels a little bit dry. I think I have a backup. I actually think I will declaring this one. A little mirror from Kat Von D. Keeping it. It's good to have. The Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. Smells good. Keeping it. An eyebrow pen from Colourpop. Keeping it. This eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. I am, it's not over yet, it's almost over, or maybe not, I don't know, it's hard with this one, because when I squeeze it like this, it's a little bit left, but I don't like this, so I am going to try to close it and decluttering it, another lip gloss from Wet n Wild, not even open, I'm going to declutter it. I have this Nordic Chic eyeshadow primer. I don't think I ever opened this and I have other primers that I really want to try so I'm going to give this away to someone. Here I just have two empty boxes. Do you save this? I did for a while but I actually think I'm going to throw this away. They just take up the space. have some sharpeners. Keeping all of these. And my concealer from Glossier. I really like this one. So keeping it. Of course my horse. This is the worst declutter ever I think. <laughs> okay then I have the brow gel. Brow gel. I think I'm going to decluttering this. I'm going to oh no I have a cute little highlighter here that is from Swedish brand and this is okay it's highlighter everywhere I really like this I like the packaging I like the I like how it looks but it's like the worst packaging ever I'm going to keep this though 
just a normal restorant. It looks amazing. And now everything has green highlight around it. This is a brow made in blonde from Anastasia. Don't use it as much, but I'm going to keep it. Another highlighter from the same brand as the green one. This is like more cream. I think it smells a bit funny. I don't think I should use this. No, it has started. I don't know if you can see. It started to separate like it's water in it. So I guess it's time for this one to go. This <laughs> little makeup sponge, time to go. Put it on the ground. And then I have this primer from Wet n Wild. And as I have said so many times, I do not support Wet n Wild anymore. And this is product that I'm going to declutter. I don't use it anymore. It has been open for a real long time. So I am getting rid of this. What is this? Volume Lash Primer. I don't think it's supposed to look like this. So goodbye. And here I have a Dazzle Liner from Nabla. This, I think they released this together with, I don't know, Soul Blooming. Do you know how many times I've used it? Once. Do I think it looks amazing? I do. But it has started to separate, so it's going away. I brow things here. Okay, this one. This spongy thing from Real Techniques. I'm from this way. Not so much is left. I have three stick blushes from NYX. I love those three, so I'm keeping them. All my highlighters from Kaleidos. Keeping those. Here I have two brow gels. I think this is. It's not that much left in this. I don't know why it ended up here. And then I have this from Glossier. I'm keeping that as well. Here I have the Milk Kush Mascara. It has been open for a long time. I think I'm going to declare that one as well. This is mascara I use right now from Nabla. Where is it? What do I use for a mascara? Do I use this? I think that... I yeah, I do. I love this one. Absolutely adore it. Adore. Who am I? I have the Catrice Wonder of Concealer keeping it. Maybe it's time for this one to go. Makeup Revolution. Yeah. I will declaring this Makeup Revolution White Concealer. Glitter Prime from NYX staying. I have this highlighter stick from Milk. Never used it. I think it's too. I think I have swatched it. It's too dark for me, so I'm going to give this away. Interstellar from Linda Holberg. Liquid eyeshadow, keeping it. Lightning drops from Body Shop. Really like them, so I'm going to keep them. And I have this concealer from ColourPop that I don't like. And okay, it it, it looks a little bit funny. Not now, because I swirled it around, but it did. So I am going to declaring this. So okay, I am going to put, take out all the gunk and junk, put everything back, and uh, then I'm going to show you what I have the clutter.
Okay, so these are the things that I have declutter. One of them are empty, this one, so... Yeah. And <laughs> this doesn't work, so... Yeah! So, that was my decluttering, and... I think I maybe expected more of this, I don't know, but... It feels good to have a little bit cleaner drawer, I'm going to be honest, it, it feels good. And yeah, I am thinking about going into my... I don't know if I want to do like a decluttering eyeshadow palette or do an eyeshadow palette collection and then like decluttering in there if there is any palettes I want to declutter. I just wanted to ask you if you like the setup I have had in my lipstick decluttering and in this because if you like it I will do the same in my eyeshadow palette collection. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one.